Hi guys, uh, I love the show so much. It's it's amazing, and I'm gonna try so hard to not talk spoilers, but I'm honestly very stressed about it. So, uh, <laughs> no, 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 relax, relax. Right. All right, all right. All right. Well, first question: If either of you or all of you could choose to live your life within the lens of like any movie genre you wanted, which would you choose? Am I stuck there forever, or I can leave sometimes? No, you're stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. So that's why no period drama for me. Right, no, it's got to be yeah. present day. No. One of those, like, uh, what about we do? Like, yeah, with, like, present day plumbing and bathroom. Right, yeah. Like, can we do, like, one of the, like, those, like, the beach vacation movies where, like, oh, that's a, right idea. a beach yeah. blanket yeah. bingo <laughs> sort yeah, of thing. A couple thing. of street type of movie. I think that seems like, at least I could be, uh, you know, in a nice tropical place and have a lava yeah. flow or something. Little 50 first dates in yeah. Hawaii. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice. I would go action comedy myself because the likelihood of me dying would be low, but I'd have muscles. It'd be great. Oh, that'd be um, awesome. Now, when writing a murder mystery, at what point do you know who the killer is? Like, do you start with that or is that something you discover along the way? You have to start with that. I think that's really the the only way that you can make a, a really compelling murder you mystery. You don't procrastinate until you write like, the last oh, episode. You're like, oh, who, oh, who should have <laughs> No, it has to start around figuring out a, a, a unique way for a person to uh, murder somebody and kind of get away with it. And then then you have to cover it up and think about how you're going to hide it. And then think about all the characters that surround that murder and the relationships and secrets that they can have that allow them to feel like they're also suspects. They have motives, but they also have their other stories. And you build it all around that first uh, murder. Uh, otherwise, uh, it'll it'll feel just arbitrary. Uh, and you want it to feel really satisfying at the end to be like, of course, oh, why didn't I see it? And that's when I think murder mysteries work the best. Now, a more important question is when are you guys going to make a murder mystery with superheroes? <laughs> oh, it's always season three, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, uh, I, I do have to say, say what? Crossover with the boys, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Um, I I'm not blowing smoke when I say that across the Spider Verse is it was my favorite movie of the year. It's incredible. You guys just nailed it. I love it so much. I I do have to ask. There's been some rumors online that Beyond the Spider Verse might possibly be delayed. As someone who needs closure to that cliffhanger ASAP, uh, Chris or Phil, can you tell me that that's not true? I would say just that like we're going to take the time necessary to make beyond the spider verse great and uh we won't back into a release date uh that doesn't fit i love it thank you so much guys last question for you out of everybody on the cast all the actors who do you think would most likely in real life be able to solve a murder the quickest Ooh, that's a good question elizabeth perkins <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'd like to be in the room and be you're like you're a murderer you did it i can see it on i can face. feel it yeah. and and i've done the research to back yeah. it that's right yeah. i think that's a good answer that's amazing guys thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me i know you have to talk to a million people today but i really appreciate the time thank you very much Love likewise thanks hi guys i i love the show it's hilarious uh it's gonna be really hard to not talk spoilers but i believe in us i think we can do it so how are you guys doing Good, but not great at avoiding spoilers. <laughs> like it's yeah, we're very much walking on eggshells today. It's, uh, it's really difficult. <laughs> we're shrouded yeah. in vagueness. Yeah. Um, Chris, I'm honestly we were doing I'm, terrible until you showed up. Good. I'm very, I'm very nervous about it, but I think I, I really do think we can do it. But I, I will ask this now. Out of all the genres that you guys acted in in the show, which did you personally enjoy acting in the most? Pause the killer. Oh damn it! I've done it again. Um, I enjoyed working in period drama. Um, I feel like I'm the only actor in the whole of Britain that has never been cast in an actual period drama. So it was really nice to get the opportunity to flex those muscles. And I will be sending that episode directly to my agent in the UK and telling them that we need to now write this wrong and get me into a um, merchant. Island. All the period dramas. All yeah. The period dramas. All of them. Um... I, I just want to point out that he said I was the killer and then acted nonchalant. And in doing so, it's kind of as if he did discount me uh, because the actor probably wouldn't say my character was the real killer if, if he was the real killer. He wouldn't joke about that. So it's actually that was a spoiler, even though you meant to do a joke. So in actuality, you just ruined the show for like a ton of people. My guess is Apple's not going to want to hire you again, you know. 
At least not for anything but a period of drama. My favorite episode was uh, I really liked the <laughs> noir because I was the star of the episode. I, I, you know, I've got a sense that you're quite the egomaniac, so I had a feeling that's what you were going to go with, Paul. Mm-hmm. No, it was I, a good episode. I, I liked all the episodes. I think the most fun to see come to life, though, was the Wes Anderson because um, I'm a fan of his movies, and it seemed like that was a full court press. Like so many crew members were involved in making that type of thing come to life and have like the framing and the lighting and the colors and the structure. They they nailed that episode. It was, yeah. it really felt like we were watching a Wes Anderson movie. I thought it was solid. Now to sort of build upon that question, like if you could choose to live your life through the lens of any movie genre you wanted, what would you choose? Hmm. Documentary, real life. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> um, I, no, I, what would you say? Um, maybe an Ealing comedy. <laughs> I just like Ealing comedies. I got for me. I it's, that would actually be practical. I think. Uh, what would be? I'm gonna say a Mike Lee kitchen sink drama. I'm gonna say softcore anime. <laughs> God, <laughs> softcore, sure. Uh, no, I, uh, that's, those are good answers. I like that. Um, Paul, I can't talk to you and not talk to you about wrestling. I got to ask AEW. Yeah. Five forever comes out today. Are you going to play it? And who's the first wrestler you're going to play as if you do? Oh, well, I thought it comes out Thursday. It comes out today. The pre-order. I think, I think if you've got the elite edition, it comes out today. I've had it for like a week. It's awesome. The first person I'm going to play as is my favorite wrestler of all time. Steve Borden. You fans know him as Sting. That's a good, yeah. That's that's who I played as first too. So I love I that guy. You. He's my number one. He's on my Mount Rushmore of uh, wrestlers. Now, Jack, has Paul made you watch wrestling yet with him? Oh, I don't make him watch it. He's a yeah. fan. Yeah. I, I, Are you? Yeah, yeah. That's how we first bonded was over our uh, love of wrestling. I slid into his DMs and <laughs> we started talking about AEW. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we've been to wrestling together. Um, yeah, and yeah, we're both uh, friends of of uh, Tony Khan, who's he's like uh, Vince McMahon if Vin- if uh, Vince McMahon wasn't mentally ill. Right? Well, That's in the, the yeah, right. In that in that case, Jack. Same question for you. Who are you going to play as first? Uh, Hangman Page. Who plays Hangman Page? Who are you going to fight though? Hangman versus CM Punk. Ooh. Barnburn. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do Sting versus Dustin Rhodes in a uh loser retires match. Make it the exploding barbed wire death match. Guys, I could talk about wrestling with you all day long, but I'm out of time. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. You guys have a great rest of your day. Guys, I love the show so much. It's it's so good to see you. Uh, I, I've talked to you before, Ken. This is the first time I'm talking to you, John, but I, I love the show and it's gonna be really hard to not talk about spoilers. I'm kind of stressed about it, but we're gonna try. All right. Uh, so first question, if you each could live your life through the lens of any movie genre you wanted, which one would you choose? Oh, uh, it sounds like a romantic comedy would be a pretty cushy, cushy life. All the days are sunny. Mm. Except when you make the call at the end of the movie uh, and um, you're in the rain when you when you. Uh, that's what i was about to say you would get wet a lot during the like the breakup moment when you have to like chase back after them that's true on the other hand if i'm the hero and i would be if if i'm choosing the rom-com i have a lot of people interested in my life saying hey how's it going with you and 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 jane how's it going with you and jane lately you know that Mm -hmm. that stuff um emotion no i want to be i want to be in the same genre i want to be the same my movie as john i want to be the best friend of John and go, and I went all by phone. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man, I've been thinking about this for a long time. Yeah, you know, just tell her how you feel. I I can't, man. Uh, <laughs> just, she's, she she's she's she 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 she's into she's into Chad. I, I don't know what to say about it anymore, man. You didn't. Well, you didn't hear. Chad's dead. What? Go for it, man. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'll go, man. Bye. And scene. That was amazing. I want that. Thank you. It took us eight months to write that. 
I believe it. It was quality. It was that was so good. Uh, John, I got to ask you, last year I talked to Cal about a fourth Harold and Kumar movie, and he said that the 20 year anniversary is coming up and that you guys were all interested. Has there been any more discussion about it? And would you please cast uh, Ken to be your best friend in that to take the place of Cal? To take well, place. no, not take place. I will not take the place. You can't. No, no, no. <laughs> Third no. best friend. That's just, no. I am. I am. I am Harold's uh, more handsome brother, Carol, <laughs> with three L's. And it's like Carol. Carol, what are you doing here? Carol, and, I, and then I go, don't you? Don't you know? Did you read the news? Chad's dead. So their family mm-hmm. named Super one name. son Harold, Harold, and the other one Carol. 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 Mm-hmm. Harold and Carol. Yeah, Carol. Carol with an apostrophe D. Okay. Because it was just Harold. Uh, Harold's apostrophe D. As far as I know, we haven't gotten our act together on making a Harold and Kumar 4. But um, yeah, that would that would be that would be fun. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed that it happens. I would, Ken, I want to say, I don't know how many times I watched Endgame before I realized that you were the security guard in that. I think it was the I, amazing I, mustache that camouflaged you. But um, thank you. when's I, that I really guy going to get it up? No, I appreciate you bringing it up because, you know, like I'm the star of the movie. I'm the star of Avengers Endgame. And it was like, even though I had no lines and it was a completely, you know, unrecognizable cameo, I, I had a mullet that I wore myself. I grew up myself for like nine months. I had a mustache. I had glasses. Yeah, I didn't have a line. And I was barely seen. I was barely noticed. But I saved the world. I got yeah. Ant-Man. Well, what, th- yeah. When's that guy going to get his own Disney Plus show? Oh, I've been I've been pitching um, Security Boy to Disney Plus for like the longest time and they're I like hope, I hope you. the whole movie is about how much he loves his mustache and his mullet hey, look there are two things i love about my life the mustache and the multiverse in that order <laughs> i have it all thank you thank you it's good to have an ally in the room look i'm i'm there we for can it do a graphic one. novel your comic books let's do it let's do it let's <laughs> I'm going to call some artists right after this. We're going to get Dude, call some artists. I will. I will do. My, you. I'll, I'll do my best. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. I love you both. Thank you very much. Love you, brother. Thank you, man. Hi, guys. It's so nice to meet both of you. You too. I love the show. It's so good. And it's going to be so hard to not talk spoilers. Uh, I'm actually pretty stressed about it, but I think we can do it. I think we're going to. We'll try. We'll try. we'll try. Yeah. We'll try. We're going to try our best. Now. <laughs> Out of all the genres in each episode, like which one did you each personally enjoy acting in the most? Ooh. Um, well, mine, of course, because, it, you know, I got to do whatever I wanted. That yeah. was, uh, ball. But in terms of, of other people's, I really loved the Jane Austen just because at the, the point in the schedule when we shot it, mm. it was so sort of like right in the middle of, yeah. of everything. And everybody had gotten to know each other really well. And it was just unbearably humorous to see Ken Jong come out in a King of Bing <laughs> yeah. waistcoat and, and you know you with your hair and oh and my god me with that giant wig oh. like it just it, it, it changed it, the energy it right changed the energy yeah and it was so ridiculous I also love, it, yeah it, 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 it sort of changed everything up so I had a lot I of agree. fun with that episode I what about you Anna? Noir. I also love film noir that oh, was yeah. really fun getting to play you know, and it's, it's seeing all the other characters in that world, right. it's such an intentional, like, take yourself seriously genre mm-hmm. and um, where everything's really calculated and serious. And so to Plus see side eye. yeah, I see a lot of awkward characters with right. issues trying to wade through a very, you know, drinking elegant drink. Exactly. Yeah. And spilling it on yourself. It's right. just like I could do that for for ever and all that's that so lingo fun. that that like, yeah lingo. great making making up words yeah. yeah yeah now to sort of like piggyback on that question like if you could live your life through the lens of any movie genre you wanted which would you choose in real life yes mm-hmm. in I your love, life i would love early tim burton um what a great answer with practical effects and things like the less tech less tech the better like that's exciting to me I would probably do like the 30s, but only if I was like Rosalind Russell or Catherine mm. Hepburn, you know, where I lived in a great estate in Connecticut and I smoked and I had <laughs> I can see that. pads and, yes. you know, we went to the vineyard and my hatchback kind of thing. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> that sounds lovely. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that for you. Yeah. That would yeah. be great. 
Those both sound like really nice genres to live in. I, you know I just my body is just made out of knives. <laughs> <laughs> that's the yeah. difference between us she's on an estate and i'm accidentally cutting myself yeah and and I'm i will take I, so I'm not I, actually going anywhere <laughs> just <laughs> just trying to make a f-ing sandwich <laughs> <laughs> so i i asked chris and phil of anybody on the cast that could actually solve a real life murder they both said elizabeth so uh i they just said that you would just sniff them out so mike i I wanted to ask when you guys read the script did either of you no spoilers but did you correctly guess who the killer was no no so they were wrong did not did not (laughs) at all yeah i was really off yeah i think i thought i knew up until about episode eight eight and then i realized like i was on the wrong scent and yeah yeah, I didn't get it either. I mean, I didn't read the scripts, but just watching, I was like, nah, yeah. I got this wrong. I usually do, though. I'm not a great detective. But uh, before you don't I go- know yet. You might be right. I need to go back and watch a few of the episodes again, because there are a lot of like Easter eggs that, you know, you don't pick up on the first watching. Oh, I, I'm definitely going to go back and watch it again. Me, I'm, yeah. me and my fiance, we have to watch this together. So I'm, which yeah, I'm very excited. A lot of clues. See. They come really quickly and they go just as fast. Mm-hmm. Now, one last question, Elizabeth, I have to tell you, I grew up with Big and it is it's such an honor for me to meet you. I've seen that movie oh, like a dozen too. times. Same. I love it so much. I, I, I just want to know, over the years, was there ever any talk about doing a sequel to that at all? No. Good okay. Question. Not once. And um it was it was turned into a Broadway musical for a little while. And there have been sort of like little spin-offs. Like I know there was a movie with a small girl who grew up. I forget what the name of it was, but no, it was never it was never a movie that Penny Marshall ever wanted to do a sequel to. She felt like I told this story. It's perfect just the it way it is. It's a perfect story. And um neither Tom or I were sort of interested in adding to it because it was it was just a moment in time and i think it's perfect because of that it is perfect and i'm not saying it needs a sequel but i do sometimes no, no, what yeah, Josh no, and never... Susan, if they ever met up again and uh, you know anything yeah. like in their life but anyways i'm out of time and i know you have to talk oh. to a million people so thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today thank, thank you. you hi guys uh, hi so much to love you hello Hi. So I, I love the series. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, it's going to be uh, so hard to not talk spoilers. I'm honestly very stressed about it, uh, <laughs> but we're going to we're going to do our best. <laughs> so, you know, out of all the genres that are there in the episodes, which did you personally enjoy acting in the most? Well, for me, it's uh, the 80s, um, 80s soap opera, overdramatic I got carried away and uh, it was so much fun. No, um, no, it was not carried away. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, that's good to hear. Um, and I love Jane Austen, which is my character's episode. Um, I love the romance of it all. I love the like the love and the falling in love and the outfits and the wigs and the gloves and the ribbons and all the set design was incredible. Um, that is definitely a dream of mine to like be in like a period piece, but I think it was like exciting that we had this like intergenerational Asian family in the world of Jane Austen. Like, yeah. I think it was a dream I didn't even know I had until I was doing it. It's it looked like a lot of fun as a guy who attends Renaissance festivals regularly. I was quite jealous. I was like, oh man, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, fun. I have yet to go to a Ren Fair. Oh, you've you've got to go. They're actually I'm in Nashville, and they, they, there's a castle here, so that's that's why they, they they have it around a whole castle. It's a thing oh, you can wow. tour the castle. It's amazing, and I I'm, I get muddy every time just because it's anyway. Enough about you that. Joust? They, are you like? Are you doing all the? They do. They do have jousting. They do have oh, jousting. It's it's oh, wow. amazing. It's, oh wow! It's Isn't jousting like killer? Uh, I haven't seen anybody get killed yet. I think they sort of like <laughs> take it a little that. easy. But I'm always hopeful. You know, every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, man, I hope oh, there's going to be a murder case. No. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, to build on that last question, though, I was curious, like if you could live your life through the lens of any movie genre you wanted, what would you choose? We might already have your answer, Poppy. But... Oh, Jane Austen, for sure. <laughs> also, Jane. I feel like I must have lived <laughs> then. Um, <laughs> just like, yeah. 
like your previous life was Maybe there. One of yeah, one of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, it felt it felt so right when I was in a Jane Austen dress. I mean, I have to say the costume designer just did a fabulous job. Like you know, she pulled. She pulled in, I mean, she pulled off with all these clothes, right? For all of us, 12 people, really oh my fun. gosh, with all the extras. I mean, it's incredible when I walked on the set with all those dresses already, like I immediately walked right. Yeah, your posture felt look better. Yeah, yeah, yes. And then I felt that's right for me. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. I actually think <laughs> if I had to live my life through a genre, I think maybe like a Miyazaki animation. Actually. yes yeah look at nice it. like <laughs> oh but like with the constant soundtrack of it too and just like the fantasy and the whimsy and like there'd be so many like the like you know live plushies that are my pets <laughs> very good <laughs> i love those answers uh, for me it would have to be like an action comedy because i would just, i would want muscles but, but the comedy. chance of me actually getting murdered is like slim to none. So that's oh. that's where I would want to be. I, period drama looks fun, but I would miss electricity. So that would, <laughs> that would be my now. Now, no spoilers. Last question for you guys. But did either of you correctly guess who the killer was? I was no, no. I no. was um, I guessed wrong. It was <laughs> shocking to me. I was disappointed. Yet I was very satisfied and it was a shock. It was, yeah. I did not guess. I'm not good at guessing. I'm not a good detective. No, me Me either. I'm always horrible at it. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. I love the show. This was a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you.